Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create an employee performance rating card with the dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this employee performance rating card. The first page we have the dashboard page wherein we are showing the summary, the average performance score by the supervisor. So we have four supervisors in our data and this is for individual supervisor and then this is the average score for all process and then here we have the average rating by the supervisor and this is the total rating and we have five ratings from one to five these are the count of employees by the different ratings and here we are showing the top 10 employee by the average performance score now i'll show you the score card also this is the employee performance rating card or scorecard. We have here employee ID, employee name and supervisor name and these are the 10 parameters on which we are giving the score to the employees. Now first I will show you the grid so that I can explain you this thing. So we have here the grid of the parameters. We have parameter name, then we have the definition of the parameter. We have given the score for each parameter. So we have 10 parameters here. We have given the score for each parameter. You can change this score as per your requirement, but make sure the total should be 100. Okay. And you can change the parameters also. Now here we have the grid 0 to 20. We have 1, 22, 50. We have 2, then 50 to 83, then 80 till 90. We have 4 and above 90. We have 5. Now here you have to select this tick or cross for any parameter for any employee accordingly that a score will be changed and as the score changes the rating also will be changed like from 3 to 2 as per the grid okay so this is all dynamic and in the dashboard also you can just go to the data and refresh all automatically that will be changed whatever change you will make here that will reflect on the dashboard also if you are a supervisor or a manager you can use this template in your office to create the rating card of your employees and you can change the parameters here you can change the scores now i will explain you step by step how we can create this in microsoft excel so let's start without delay i will create this from the scratch so i'm going to add a new workbook so this is book one now first I will put here grid okay we will copy this data from here so I'm using the same grid paste this here now I will add a new seed and that will be our scorecard or rating card and here we will copy the same employee name so let us copy these employee name from here and come to this workbook and let us paste as value okay now the top row you can put as a title and here we will use those 10 parameters so just copy and paste as value and transpose or you can use the transpose function also transpose and select this range and just close the bracket hit the enter so we are getting all parameters here all right now now i will add two more column the first one will be the performance score another will be rating okay now let's select this all press ctrl 1 go to the border and you can choose any color let's say i'm taking this light blue color outline inside click on ok go to the home align this center center and reduce the size now we will change the header background color so select this range and we will take let's say this blue color and font white make this bold now select this range till here use the merge and we will put our heading here so let's say i'm putting here employee performance rating card jan 2024 you can put any title whatever you want to put increase the font size background let's say i'm taking this dark and font white all right okay now we will remove this formula so just select this range copy paste a special value 
and we will select this range and press ctrl T to convert this into a table click on ok now go to the table design and uncheck this vended rows all right and remove the filter also now we will select this range go to the home and click on wrap text all right now we will increase the row height slightly and reduce the column width so that we can adjust this in a window so i will quickly reduce the column width all right let's go to the view and uncheck the grid lines from here and now we will create the drop down here for that tick and cross so what i will do i'll go to the grid and remove the grid lines from here check this heading okay now here use symbol okay and then i will use the unicare function unicare put here one triple zero four and just close this so this is the tick sign right sign and i will use here unicare function again one triple zero six and just close the bracket and hit the enter that is cross sign we will select this range and we can name it as symbols list okay and we can select this range and we can name it as rating grid or grid okay and select this range and this is our score so we have created these three names we can go to the formulas and name manager and we can see these names here let's come to the scorecard and we will select this area this range till this column and press alt d l to open the data validation window and select here list go to the source box and press f3 and we will select here symbol lists click on ok now we can see here the symbol list put here tick or cross whatever we want ok now we will put a conditional formatting whenever we have tick that should be in green cross should be in red so i will select again that range this range till here and press alt od to open the conditional formatting rule manager click on new rule and then go to the format only cell that contains and here go to the equal to and we will go to the grid and let's say first we are going with this tick symbol and format we will take the font green this one click on ok ok new rule again go to this option equal to and here again we will go to the grid and we will select the cross symbol go to the format and take here this red color click on ok ok apply and ok so we can see the colors here if i select this tick it is in green and cross is in red quickly we will fill this data here cross and tick so that we can calculate the performance score and rating and we can create the dashboard okay i have filled this now i will calculate the performance score to calculate the performance score i will put a formula here that is if and select this range is equal to go to the grid and select this symbol press f4 to freeze this if this is the symbol then transpose score so we can select the score or we can use the name we have already created the name of score all right so it will return the range of this score we will use the sum function before the if and just close the bracket hit the enter so we are getting here performance score if we change any parameter the score will be changed now to get the rating we will use the vlookup of this performance score and we have already created the grid rating grid this one comma two comma one and just close the bracket hit the enter so we are getting here rating all right so we have got the rating and we have got the performance score now we will insert a pivot table so let's click anywhere go to the insert and insert the pivot table from table range let's click here from the table one on the new worksheet click on ok so we have this pivot table we will quickly create few pivot tables here so the first pivot table we will create supervisor name in the rows and performance score in the values this is taking the sum of performance score just double click and let's take the average of performance score and we will take the zero decimal number 
and zero decim replace click on okay okay all right now we can copy this and we can paste this here and just right click go to the show field list in place of average performance score we will take the average rating this one so this is sum of rating double click here average number format we will take one decimal place click on okay okay so we have the average rating here and we want to show the total on the chart so we will use this equal to this one and just hit the enter with the zero decimal place and here also select this one and just hit the enter we cannot connect the text box directly with pivot table so that is the reason we are using separate cells here now let's copy this and paste that here right click go to the show field list and this time rating we will use in the rows and the count of employee name we will use in the values so this is rating and the count of employee name all right now copy this and the next one we will create the top 10 employees so right click go to the show field list and let's take the employee name here in the rows and average performance score so let's take the average with the zero decimal click on ok ok all right so we have all employees here but we will take the top 10 employees so let's click here value filter top 10 click on ok so we have top 10 employees so we have created all the pivot table we can rename this sheet as a pivot now add a sheet and we will rename this as a dashboard all right the first row we can create the header of the dashboard select this range and use merge and center and let's use this color font white bold increase the size and let's say i'm putting here dashboard or whatever title you want go to the view and remove the grid lines from here now select this range few more area let's say till here go to the home and fill this gray color okay and we can hide this range so select this press ctrl 0 all right now we will create our charts here so go to the pivot and select the first pivot go to the insert and insert a donut chart this one let's cut this chart and put on the dashboard here make it slightly smaller select the chart go to the pivot chart analyze field buttons and hide all select the legion make this black and bold title we can put here average performance score by supervisor so let's make it black and bold and slightly smaller and here we will add the data labels and put the data label outside the donut like this we can change the color of the donuts also select this go to the design and change color and we can choose this one all right now we can show a total in the center but before that i will create the another donut chart so let's go to the pivot again and select this pivot table insert another chart we will take again the donut chart let's cut this and paste that here we will use the same formatting method go to the pivot table analyze field buttons hide all get slightly smaller like this make this black and bold change the chart title this will be rating by supervisor average rating by supervisor and make this black and bold and smaller add the data label and move the data labels here okay go to the design and change the color take the same color this one all right so this is done now i will select the first chart and i'll go to the insert text box and i will insert a text box here like this click on the text box outline and then go to the formula bar press equal to go to the pivot and we have created this total here and just hit the enter now align this center 
center and make this bigger bold so let's keep this here you can change the color so let's say i'm taking this blue color now copy this and select the another chart and paste that here and this time connect it with this cell and just hit the enter click here and pick the format painter and just click all right so these two charts are ready now quickly we will insert another chart go to the p word and we will insert the chart for rating insert and this time we will insert this chart 2d column chart select this cut this and go to the dashboard and paste that here okay and from here we will remove the grid lines and legend and go to the pivot chart analyze and hide all buttons all right now let's delete this vertical axis also and make the chart smaller okay now select the chart right click add data labels put the title as employee count by rating and format this make this black bold and smaller and right click on the bar go to the format data series and change the gap width okay take around 90 and then we will change the color also for each bar the, the first one just double click to select this and go to the home and let's select here this dark red the second one we will select the red the third one this one select the amber color this one yellow color and here we will take the light green this one and here we will take the dark green this one all right so this chart is also done now again we will go to the pivot and we will select the last pivot this one go to the insert and insert this chart the 2d column chart and cut this and paste this here Now select this chart and make it slightly bigger like this. Go to the pivot chart analyze and remove all buttons from here and just put here top 10 employee by average performance score. Remove the legend from here and we can add more grid lines. Okay. Now add the data labels also, right click add data labels and right click go to the format data series, fill and line, fill and we can use the berry color by point to show the other colors also. Then go to the pivot, we will sort this in the descending order, right click, sort largest to smallest. Okay, now come to the dashboard. So first the bigger one is appearing here. Now we can make this bold and black similarly here also make this bold and black and this one also all right friends so friends that is how we can create this rating scorecard in microsoft excel with the dashboard friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching